Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I would like to share with you a new deck that has arrived uh, for review and it's called Cosmosis Tarot. So um, I, when I saw the name I thought it should be called also Cosmos is Tarot. <laughs> so it came uh, for a review as I said and it's created by, and I'm not sure if I pronounced the name right, but Funny Woods, Woods? I'm not sure, and Bridge Burn Burn. I'm sorry guys for butchering the names. Um, the deck comes with the little pamphlet inside uh, with the cards of course and in the pamphlet you have um, the introduction and you have the meaning of the cards um, basically just like keywords. Uh, and what they did with court cards, they actually changed um, how the court cuts, so they used archetypes, so like discernment, um, they used maturity, determination and flow for court cuts um, in the queens, kings are intelligence, prosperity, dare, compassion and so on, so it's a little bit different and that's how they marked, so kings are top up like fire, queens are uh, er, 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 like you know triangle down as water and knights are to the uh, facing to the right and pages face to the left um, and I actually really like it because you kind of move away from um, that, yeah, knight, kings and so on. Um, but you, you keep the tarot tradition alive. So the deck comes um, in this hardy box. So um, in the guidebook, and let's just take a quick uh, look at this you get quite a lot of information actually so let's just look at the um keys to co key to the cosmos so you get intro and then we go through major arcana and then they use elements so we have fire air water and earth and you've got introduction you have numerology you have um what else do we have here Major Arcana and Fool's Journey, um, the, the suits that are listed and the elements, the court cards that are explained, which I also like, and uh, Cosmosis Elemental Spread, and then you move into the Major Arcana, and then each card um, gets keywords, which I think you get in the pamphlet, and then there's a description and quite a lot of, um, you know, write-up. And what's interesting here is that um, you have clear association with astrology. Um, it's based on Golden Dawn, from what I see, and Queen of Water, Zodiac Scorpio, so three of her, Saturn in Libra, and so on. Um, so it's very clearly stated. So you get Cosmos and Tyro. All right, so let's see the cards. And the cards are quite amazing. Um, they different and get this cool red gilding. These are the backs, reversible if you use reversals. And let's just uh, go through them. So I hope you can see them well. Well, so you get you get the elements. Uh, on, so the majors have the Roman numer numeral, and then you get air for it's grey, um, earth is green, um, water is blue, and fire is red. So it's easy to recognize all of the elements by a color, pretty logical associations. And each of the card gets a keyword and the number of tarot. So here we have Nine of Swords, which they name Turmoil. Um, as you can see, it's modern. I actually really like it. It's quirky. Um, I was wondering if maybe, you know, having like this more simple frame would be better. But I actually dig this deck. I really like it. I think it's going to be a good reader. And as you always, uh, as I always say, it's quite difficult to do good keywords and most of these keywords are really cool. So here we have the king of pentacles because it's the fire element. We have prosperity here. Um, this faces left, so this is the page of earth and this is the skill. 
Hierophant. I love that Hierophant. Look how cool it is. With the library, so there is this teacher um, element. There are keys and this bear. So if you have any connection to this bear animal, um, and I do, this is quite a personal one for me, so I really enjoy this combination. Lovers are pretty cool. There's just this regular couple, you know, in embrace, but then we have these two skeletons as well, and there's a snake. So it has the symbolism of the lovers uh, from Rider with Smith as well, but shown differently. So there's a rebirth for Ten of um, Swords with the Phoenix and the Spirit, or, you know, there's this lifting up from the lying body here. It's quite a um, smart done deck. I really enjoy it. So here we have the moon. It's quite dark, actually. Um, origin for the Ace of Pentacles. Very nice. This is Intelligence for the King of Swords. I think also a very shamanic deck. A lot of power animals, a lot of animal spirit. Um, and... I like the keywords. I think it's also an easy reader, even for people who don't know Tarot too well. Uh, confrontation for Five of Wands. I quite like it. Harmony for Ten of Cups. And I like uh, the use of art in this one. Flow for the Queen of Water. Collaboration. Celebration. I'm going to move a bit faster now. So ones, of course, are aces. How cool. Ace of swords. Mental. The world with the turtle. Impulse for, um, for the night of air. The serment for the queen. Bond for four of fire. Process for five of pentacles. I like it. Perspective, Five of Swords. It's pretty cool. Love this card. So this is actually um, pages that uh, face left. Yes, Page of Swords. How cool is that? Love it. It suits Libra. Um, rewards with Seven of Pentacles. Dedication with Eight of Pentacles. Tower. The Star with the Dove. Very beautiful. Generosity with Six of Pentacles, Emperor, Relation with Two of Cups, I really like it, Recuperation with Four of Swords, Contentment with Nine of Water, Inspiration with the Page of Fire, Conviction with Seven of Wands, I like it, Inner Voice for the Page of Water, Page of Cups, and Creativity for the Knight of Cups. That's really cool. Strength, Compassion, Productivity for the Knight of um, Pentacles, Trapped for Eight of Swords, Freedom for the Knight of Fire, Achievement for the Six of Wands, Security. This might be my least favorite card just because, oh, I don't know, I'm just like doesn't evoke the sense of security, this barbed wire. I just have a adverse reaction to barbed wire after, you know, concentration camps and all this shit. I just don't like it. Um, death is beautiful. Play. That's six of water. So that's lovely. Um, that's this. Yeah, Six of Cups. Love the magic mushrooms too. Temperance is quite interesting. I'm curious. Let's just take a look at Temperance, okay? Let's see so that you can get also a sense. Oh, it's interesting that like the death is called Arcana with no name. And Temperance, Zodiac sign Sagittarius. So the keywords are protection, stability, balance, harmony, Vacation, communication, rebirth, moderation. So all things in moderation, time and place, temperate climate absorbs the tempest even as the temperature rises. 
but, well, but whether the storm has passed or whether it continues to cling to chaos, there is a chance to recover and regain footing along the rocky shoreline of conscious experience. Can you hold on long enough to realize when it's time to let go? Um, so as we come to land gently on the shores of temperance in the fool's journey through the major arcana, something has passed out of existence. We're talking about death just before temperance. And I like it in this book that they um, lead you through the, through the fool's journey and connect the cards like this. Uh, differentiated from attachments ingrained over a lifetime. And now we find a moment to temper the impulses integrate the new with the existence uh, with the existent and come into balance as a more complete picture emerges allow the darkness to clear and take a moment to slide gently into the lake of your being calm and still alchemical grace here we can rest reboot and recharge at home within ourselves after such a transformational shift a chance to rebalance may be necessary before moving on so temperance encourages you to recognize the various parts of ourselves. I'm not going to read it on, but um, it's a matter of perspective. Moderation may not be as sexy as excess, <laughs> but temperance shows us the ways in which it allows us to discover more deeply the design of our desires, knowing full well where a heedless, insatiable appetite can bring us. If we can take advantage of opportunities to patiently slow down and balance the breath, we may find there is no need to fill the void. So as you can see, that's quite an um, interesting take on the cards. And um, I like how they introduce this fool's journey in the book as well and weave it through all the archetypes. So here we have our fool, the magician. Okay, not my favorite card. Just kind of, I love owls, but I don't know, just too um, not dynamic enough in a way. Uh, Wheel of Fortune, but all the other cards I kind of really dig. It's the Hermit. I love the Devil with the TV. Definitely, totally agree. Um, action is Eight of Wands. Very cool. Like the image. Maturity as the Queen of Pentacles. I love this image too. Um, the sun. Okay, I'm not a fan of those kind of drone animals, but this card is cool. Gratitude, four of cups. Attention for five of uh, cups. I quite like it when, you know, you spill something. Uh, usually we take on like, oh, you know, three cups have spilled and two cups are still standing. We never kind of take responsibility or accountability for the spilled cups. Maybe we spill them because of lack of emotional attention or maturity. That's pretty cool. The hangman, uh, it's 12. I love the empress. How cool does she look? Really powerful with, with the snake. Um, three of wands, conquest. I like it. Enthusiasm, and I like the image as well for the ace of wands. Potential for two of wands, very cool. And I like how this is like, you know, comes with this reversed um, vision too. Judgment, interesting. Adaptability, upheaval for three of swords. That's also an interesting one. Justice, okay, another not my favorite card, just because it's so static, these images, but... And because I'm an eight, I always look at justice card. It's not that I like justice card, but in general. <laughs> um, there for the king of wands. How cool. Love this image. High priestess. Um, yeah. Not my favorite, I have to say, but good enough. And I love that there is a plant. Resilience for nine of wands. Really interesting. Decision for two of swords. That's pretty cool. Um, responsibility for ten of wands. Like it. Transition for six of swords. Trust for nine of pentacles. That's an interesting take. Contribution. I love that one. Ten of pentacles. Receptivity for seven of swords. I really like this one. It's, you know, and I, and I like that they marked the heart as well. 
determination with the queen of wands love this image imagination i love that for seven of cups journey for eight of cups also cool and chariot for chariot so um what do you think guys because i actually really really enjoy this deck and i think it's a great reader i haven't had it for that long um, but i wanted to share it with you and um let's just have a little quick three card reading um so let's just of course we get the justice upheaval and adaptability so um so usually if you have a three card reading like this and you do get a major arcana in some way it may like draw your attention because it's a major card so we have something to do around balancing um balancing and something about harmonizing and it's interesting how these two sides just don't connect one looks one way the other looks the other way the stones are not harmonized uh, again maybe true balance doesn't have to be 50 50 but it would be nice if there was some connection between the light and shadow right so in some way I don't know that this, um, I feel like I want somebody to turn around or, you know, I want them to look at one another. But if we don't find this balance like this, that can create some upheaval, which in this case, it may bring us some suffering. There might be some situations that force us to, you know, like to face painful situations. And then I feel like we do face them and adaptability is two of pentacles and we get, uh, you know, to balance and we get to act and we get to act in a way that we can try different options. So maybe even though in Justice Card these guys or girls or, you know, two parts to ourselves are not really connecting, that creates us some suffering. But in the end, that suffering... Uh, and this lack of imbalance forces us to become a little bit more adaptable, to try different approaches, to, you know, figure out where is this um, true north for ourselves. And adaptability with two of pentacles sometimes can mean having too many irons uh, on the stove. But on the other hand, it always forces us to stay flexible, to choose different options, to try things out. And maybe here try to connect that light and shadow and try to connect, uh, create more balance so we don't feel so out of sorts and um, disconnected maybe from our intuition uh, because this is such a mental card, right? Uh, so coming back to our bodies, simple steps, trying to keep our balance figuring things out not being afraid to try things and fail might be just the right advice for us to go on um so let me know what you think about this deck what did you think about the keywords i really dig this i think this is pretty cool um i recommend it i like it so good for beginners good for people who are just uh, starting or good for people who are loving tarot for a while um thank you for sending it guys and i hope uh, your deck will spread because it's a good uh, good product so thank you so much for watching let me know what you think and i speak to you soon bye